Hi, hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel Axel Bus Software Testing where you will learn in easy simple way. So our today's topic is first testing. What is first testing? When to do this first testing? And how to do this first testing? So let's understand in this short video. So let's get started. What is first testing? First testing is also known as fuzzing and it is a software testing technique used to discover the vulnerabilities and defects in the computer programs by subjecting them in a larger amount of random, invalid and unexpected input data. The goal of this fuzzing testing is to identify potential points of the failure and security weaknesses that traditional testing methods might miss. When to do this first testing? You can do it at early development cycles. First testing can be start during the early stages of development even when the code is not fully mature. By doing this so, developers can identify and address the potential vulnerabilities and bugs easily in the development process, reducing the cost and efforts required for the fixing, fixing the, them later. You can do it at while doing integration testing. Once the individual components or modules of the software are developed and tested using unit testing, first testing can be applied during the integration testing phase. This helps to ensure that the interaction between different parts of the system do not introduce unexpected failures. You can do it while doing pre-release validations. As the software nears the completion and before it is released to the public, comprehensive first testing should be preferred to validate the application's robustness and security. This helps to catch any last-minute issues that might have been missed during the entire testing stages. You can do it while doing continuous integration. If your development process includes continuous integration and continuous delivery, integration, integrating first testing into the CI pipeline can be provide fast feedback on the code changes. You can do it while doing security audit. First testing can also be utilized during the security audits or the code reviews to complement other security testing methodologies. This helps to identify the vulnerabilities that might have been the, oh, overlooked by the manual review processes. Third party libraries and components. First testing is especially crucial using third party libraries or components in your project. Since these external elements are beyond your direct control, first testing helps to ensure they do not introduce any vulnerabilities or incapabilities into your software. Regular maintenance Software is not static and changes or updates can introduce new bugs or security issues. Regularly incorporating first testing into your software maintenance and update ensures that you continue to validate the system's robustness over the time. How to do this first testing? First of all, identify the target. Determine the software components or application you want to test. It could be the entire application or a specific module or a library also. Define the input space. Understand the valid and expected input range for the target application. This includes various data types, file formats, network protocols and other data structures that the software handles. Create first inputs. Develop or use a first testing tool that generates a variety of invalid, random and unexpected inputs. Fuzzing tools can be custom built or open source fuzzers like AFI, American Fuzzy Log, etc. Implement test harness. Set up a test harness or driver program that feeds the generated input into the target application. The test harness should be capable of capturing the application's behavior, detecting the crashes, and identifying the abnormal outputs as well. Execute first test. Run the fuzzing process with the test harness and the generated inputs. The testing tools will automatically execute the application with different inputs repeatedly. Monitor and analyze. Monitor the application's behavior during the first testing. If the application crashes, hangs, throws an exception or exhibit the unexpected behavior, the fuzzer will record the input that caused the issues. 
बग रिपोर्ट वेन अ क्रैश और नॉर्मल बिहेवियर इज डिटेक्टेड सेव द जनरेटेड इनपुट दैट कॉज इट दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज वाइटल फॉर डिबगिंग एंड फिक्सिंग द आइडेंटिफाइड इशूज maintain test corpus maintain the corpus of interesting test cases and inputs that can be used to send the fuzzer for future testing this corpus can helps in expanding the coverage and effectiveness of a first testing process keep in mind that first testing is an ongoing and iterative process the more time and responses you invest in first testing the higher the changes and discovering the critical vulnerabilities and bugs additionally combining first testing with the other testing methodologies like static analysis dynamic analysis and manual code reviews can provide a comprehensive approach to software testing and security hope you like this video and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel we post videos on every tuesday and friday so stay tuned happy testing bye bye